Hi. Class, we're looking at Newton's second law. Newton's second law is mathematically expressed force equals mass times acceleration. Right? So objects will always accelerate in the direction of the applied force. Uh, I think it's easier to understand if you break down, change this equation to acceleration equals force divided by mass. Okay? Which means uh, if you increase the force, you will in, uh, increase the acceleration. If you increase the mass, okay, you will actually slow it down. Okay, so we're going to have a little uh, apparatus set up to hopefully demonstrate okay, how we can make a cart accelerate at the greatest rate. Okay, yeah. Mr. Ford just pointed out a good point. Uh, if the force is in this direction, that will cause the acceleration to be in this direction. Okay? If the force is increased, okay, what's going to happen to the acceleration? It will, of course, also increase. Demonstration of Newton's second law. Okay? On this end, I have a 500 gram mass okay, here. And um, it's going to apply a force to that cart. Okay, grab, once I release that, gravity is going to pull it down. Okay, right now we have balance force, but that's going to apply the force. Here I have the cart okay, with a bunch of masses on it. Okay, it's going to apply an acceleration. Okay, so watch what happens to the acceleration okay, with this, um, this cart. Let me just go back real quick. Uh, this mistake, this is not um, 500 grams, it is actually 250. Okay, so force there. Our goal is to get this to go as fast as we can, accelerate the greatest rate. So here we go. First trial. There we go. Relatively slow, as you probably saw there. Now I have, <clears throat> now I have increased the force by um, increasing mass here. So that's 500, not 250. Let's see what happens. Can you see? A little bit higher acceleration there. All right, so now, class, I have 1,000 grams or a kilogram on that end, uh, which, of course, is going to be twice as much as last time, four times as much as the first time. Now, watch what happens to the acceleration. Okay. So you can see greater force, greater acceleration. I have the 250 gram mass here. Okay, back to that. And here I have the mass of the cart, but now I'm going to decrease the mass of the cart. And with that force there, the 250 gram mass, let's see what happens to the acceleration. You can see it's faster than the other time when we had the 250. time we have the this time we have the 1,000 gram mass there the lightest cart so this should be the uh, the highest acceleration greatest amount of force least amount of mass let's see what happens here I don't want to destroy anything but let's see what happens okay so there's that. Newton's second now we're looking at Newton's laws uh, we got to determine what exactly a Newton is Newton is a unit of force, okay, so that's the one we're, we're going to be using in this class. Okay, so, uh, first force with Newton's second law is mass times acceleration. Okay. Okay, so, for example, in my case, if you take my body, I'm exerting force onto the ground. Okay, I'm just standing here. Gravity's pushed me back up, but I'm putting down force down. What is that force? Well, we know force equals mass times acceleration. So if I plug in those numbers, force, mass, times acceleration, my mass in kilograms is 91, so 91 kilograms, times uh, my acceleration due to gravity, because we're here on Earth, that's 9.8 meters per second squared. If you multiply those together, it comes out to be 892 now, it would be kilograms meters per second squared, and that's 892 
big N, which stands for news. All right? So that's the force I'm pushing down on the ground, and of course it's pushing me back up. In a minute or so, we may be showing a demonstration with these kilogram masses being suspended by, uh, this is a kilogram mass right here, being suspended by a string. We're also going to use half a kilogram, and here is a 0.25 kilogram. So if we need to figure out what that force is, okay, it's hanging on a string, okay, so that force for that small little mass there, again, force is mass times acceleration. The mass of this is just 0.25 kilograms, and of course, acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. If you do the math on that, it comes out to be 2.45 newtons. Okay? And of course, if you did this one here, uh, half a kilogram, this would be 4.9 newtons. And of course, it's one kilogram, that's simple, one times 9.8, so this would be 9.8 newtons. Okay? So that's the unit of force we're, we're going to be using in this class. Okay? So um, 